Now, normally I would tear through a product like this in less than a minute and have it just a one minute showcase, but actually I think this is a really decent gift to give to someone and I wanted to give it the proper love and attention it needs. First thing to say, I, I actually am genuinely really impressed with this, hence my proper review rather than just the one minute tear apart. If any of you are wondering, it is a classic English breakfast tea I'm having. Rather than anything special, I need the caffeine. This gift box, for those of you who are not quite aware, it's an EXO3 gift box. And what I mean by EXO3, so that's the latest set that has just arrived on the UK shores. And it is a special set, the third special set that has come out since this modern Digimon release. It's not just Draconic Raw, it's not just EXO3. There are other things in here. I believe there are four types in total. Each of them come with their own little acrylic, little pair of Digimon from different eras. And it does come with a promo pack where you can get one of either cards inside. I'm obviously hoping for this Agumon, but this Diaboramon promo reprint is really nice for players, actually. That's that's a really, really nice thing to have happened. So it feels like really compact and really well packed together, first and foremost. It comes with some simple sellotape, so uh, say simple sellotape, but I hate sellotape, but at least ugh, it's only the one I need to cut open to get into this. So we're going to slide this off, Yahoo! get rid of that cardboard bit. Right, pla plastic, <coughs> forever plastic. Promo pack sits above, we get rid of that. Our acrylic, now I'm gonna talk about this in a moment because I think this is amazing. More plastic, we have our five packs and then our memory gauge and a third layer of plastic. The only thing with this box is the amount of plastic, even though it's got a cardboard outer. To really, it didn't need to be plastic. You can hold these things with cardboard just fine. Really, I'm not liking the overuse of plastic in some of these products nowadays, but anyway, yeah, memory gauges. It, mm, okay, it's a bit of a shame that they don't... Lana, I guess you could do that. You, I guess you could do that but that's not the same. That is a little bit odd that they don't line up properly, but I mean, they're nice. They're nice memory gauges. They feel like a nice material. This is the <laughs> one of the best things. Digimon need to do this properly. And what I mean by that is I, I, I want these metal and gold and I want to set like for Pokemon World Championships, I picked up this for when one day I actually play the Pokemon TCG, because I will. And look at, look how nice this is. V-Star counter, the, the flippy coin, and then these metal damage counters. And they come with a consistent color theme in its own designed illustrated box. There was four different ones of these. They're such a nice product. I had to pick one up for me to use one day. This is the first step towards that. This is actually amazing. I had to have one, at least one of these gift boxes for this. Oh, listen to that. Why does it sound like that? Is it because there's a protective film? There must be a protective film over the top of this. How, how, how oh god. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Oh. Okay, und I understand the protective film now. Okay, that's an interesting way of packaging those up. If you're not careful, I could have lost those. All right, some plastic. This, I'm guessing, is like a memory gauge counter. Yep, this must be. So you place him there, so he, he, get, he goes on there. Okay, cool. It feels a little bit oversized and not that delicate, but it works. It does work. <laughs> and then all of these. Now, it's a little bit annoying that that's how they've decided to package them because now I've got to find a container to put these in. I've got loads, to be fair. Um, I'll, I'll find. But these, these are great. Can you just see, is the camera gonna, f there. These are really, really nice. Putting these little things on your Digimon, especially stuff like this, where your opponent has given your Digimon security attack minus one, etc. This makes it really easy to track. Jamming isn't as useful because, you know, the, the card says it, but things like, you know, this sort of stuff is really, really useful. When you as a player have given your opponents cards like can't unsuspend rules, that's really, really handy to have stuff. Stuff like this is really, really nice. So I'm just gonna move these to the side. This is excellent. They're cute little acrylic counters. I would absolutely adore a proper premium set of these. Even in what, something in wood, like engraved in wood or metal would be sick. Like I've had enough of plastic, to be honest. 
I'm just saying. Like, I, ha I have had enough of plastic stuff. Right, five packs. I think these are completely random. So this box could either be amazing, mediocre, or good. I don't think there's a hit rate with these. I've opened up EXO3 before. So we'll get right to the meat. Those two rares, cool. Open up this promo pack at the end. I'm interested to see what's inside of these. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, a super rare, one super rare, a wormon and a, uh, yep. Oh, whoa, 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 an alternate art. We will take, oh man, we'll definitely take an alternate art. Very, very nice. That is really good, actually. Five packs and an alternate art, a Slayer Dramon. Can we just appreciate that guy for a second? Lovely jubbly, look at that. The texturing isn't as good uh, as I've seen on some of the other alternate arts, but that is a very pretty card. Oh, and a Hina, that's pretty useful. And hey, Slayer Dramon Rare as well. What do you know? All right, moment of truth. What get? Oh, Diaboramon promo, very nice. If I was going to build a Diaboramon deck, I'd be pretty happy right about now. So I did get another box for science. So I'm gonna open this. Yeah, let's -a go. Promo, acrylic stuff, plastic, packs, memory gauges. So the only thing that is different between all four of the gift boxes is the guys that you get here. Everything else is the same. Obviously what you get in here is probably gonna be different and what you get in here is probably gonna be different. So box number two, let's see. Oh, Maggie Drummond and Tank Drummond. Dorbikmon and, ooh! That's the secret rare alternate art. Yeah, that's sick. Well, well, well. Hmm. I I don't want to give the impression that every single box comes with an alternate art because I'm pretty sure that's not the case, that this is all RNG, but I wonder if the higher hit rates with EXO2 are making it so the gift boxes feel really, really nice. The texturing is really nice on here, actually, even though there's not much of it. It's only really at the top. Can you see that? That texturing there at the top. Yeah, you just about make that out. It's a very nice card. Exmon is absolutely humongous and Sasasi is one of my... Okay, I have a few favorite Digimon artists, but Sasasi is really, really good. I am not going to be making a Sasasi collection just because they have illustrated some really expensive tournament cards, which I'm never going to be able to afford. So we just appreciate Sasasi art when and where we get them. And this is all really gorgeous. They've done the scale of Exmon really, really well. Where's my sleeve? Sleeve up this bad boy, please. Exmon, and you know what? I should really be sleeving everything else as well. I apologize, this great disrespect great disrespect to my family name, to my cow. Four? Oh, Vimon actually. I needed that Vimon. Oh, Chaos Dramon. Okay. So we're one for one for a alternate art and a super rare. Interesting. Super rare that I don't have as well. That is good. Yeah. Hmm. Same hit rates. Interesting. Look, I've only picked out two boxes. Please don't take that as gospel. I just do your research on the hit rates of these if you just buy these boxes expecting alternate arts because that very much might not happen. Pack. At Sunazarimon. This is the one that I was considering. Oh, he's... D oh, it's got texture. Hold on a minute. Firstly, like, I think that may have been me. I may have slightly bent that card. Oops, let me unbend it. But this has texture. Hold on, hold on. Does Diaboramon have texture? Oh, it does. Whoa, this changes everything. <laughs> what? What? It has texture. I'm pretty sure the other ones didn't have texture. No, this this definitely didn't have texture before. Can you see? Can you, there, look at, look. Whoa. Oh, you just get it. This looks metal. That is sick. Okay, these gift boxes are even better than I thought. Texture on these. Oh, I need the Agumon. No, I didn't get the Agumon. I'll just have to pick it up a single. It's, don't buy another gift box for a chance to get the one card that you want out of it. Just get the single strawberry pie. Just get the single. So anyway, these boxes. Now, if you really want to make someone's Christmas, 
get this box is is a really good idea this is a lovely lovely gift you get promos with texture the hit rates seem to be decent i again i've only sampled two <laughs> so the it's rng it's all rng i have no idea if they are mapped or not these boxes i would do some proper research if you're going to do that if you really really want to make someone's day a uh, gift box and a starter deck is a really nice combination to try and get someone into the tcg you know, if you've got a friend who plays Pokemon and they've been ooming and ahhing about Digimon and you love them very, very much, this is a great gift to give them to kind of like poke them and tip them over the edge into the Digimon TCG. This is something that I would definitely buy and give to people. I mean, I bought it for myself and I loved it. This is definitely one of those gift boxes that I do recommend.